Good morning, guys. How are we doing? It is 10.25. I'm in standard time here. I am on here a little early today because at noon time, I'm going to be hanging out with uh, my little dude, Bubba Paul. So I will not be able to broadcast them. So I'm on here a little bit early today. What's going on? Anybody else out there want to chit chat? I got my coffee, got my smokes, got my paper here, as usual. Um, mm. <sighs> there we go. I'm trying to wake up still. Ended up being up quite a bit late, later than I'd like to be up, and um, I was getting in kind of a rhythm in my life. My whole sleep, when I sleep, wake up, and all that good stuff, I really needed that. And uh, stayed up a little bit later than I wanted to, and that kind of throws that off some. And so, I'm going to be trying to get back on there. Oh, wow. hmm. But, anyhow, I just. Uh, just got done watching, um, a friend of mine has a new YouTube channel, uh, Nate Rambot has, uh, that Nate guy, I hope I'm saying it right, his channel's name, I think it's that Nate guy too, on YouTube, um, and I just watched it for the first time, I'll admit, I don't know probably been doing it for a while and I finally watched it for the first time and it was cool uh, I don't know how he does it he's managing four channels now on YouTube wow four channels and he's eBaying all the time I don't know how the dude does it he's uh very driven, and the um, show was good, it was good, it was, uh, this, this show is uh, focusing on positivity, but uh, it's that Nate guy in the morning, it's, it, wait, is it, or is it Nate in the morning, come on, I'm going to have to get this shit straight, Probably, you know, but anyways, I just watched it, and I only had half a cup of coffee in me, so I cannot get these things straight, no, you know, but uh, it was really cool, and he's, uh, the idea behind his show is uh, positive uh, shows for in the morning for people, so I can always use more of that, but yeah, I love Nate anyway, so, uh, it was cool seeing him, and uh, pretty inspirational. So, um, like I said, I'm I'm still I'm dumping coffee. I mean, trying to become more and more conscious. Um, what's going on with you guys here? Let me make sure I got the comment thing in the jigger up, in case anybody hops on here. Hmm. Sure, most of the people who usually watch Wasted Lunch are working right now. Probably. Oh, wow. But, uh, mm, try to go outside and uh, soak up some sun yesterday. Trying to enjoy these last days of summer. I know a lot of people probably figure summer is over. And I guess I am being a little stubborn. I want to hold on to that summer. Uh, but, you know, we were talking in the house the other day that uh, my wife was saying that a lot of people act like uh, after 4th of July, it's like people go about things like summer is practically over. And I thought, well, that's... You know, the stores definitely go about it like that, you know. 
But they're always <clears throat> way early about things. They're way early about the seasonal stuff. You know? How early they come out with all the Christmas decorations and, and merchandise and Halloween early and and uh, kind of feels like they're trying to rush you right through the year, doesn't it? If you follow along with that stuff. Luckily, I don't. I, uh, I'm not in the stores too often. I really, I'm really not too big on shopping. I do it uh, strictly because I have to sometimes. I don't uh, don't go shopping for. not a pastime to me. Maybe that's because I'm broke. Maybe that has something to do with that, too. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, you know, the, the life's fast enough. So, I am, while there's still some sunny days, I'm trying to enjoy it. So, yesterday, despite however cold my, our pool we got set up is, I still hopped in it, and uh, the problem is I got acclimated too easily to those, uh, some of those days we had 90 plus weather here in Ohio. I got, I got too used to it, and so now when it's 82, 83 degrees, it doesn't feel that warm to me. So. I'm going to be in bad shape if I'm still like this when it comes winter time, huh? But yeah, I got used to it. And yesterday it was, uh, according to my weather app on my phone, 82 degrees feels like 85. Uh, but it didn't seem that warm to me. Now, early spring of this year, you know, that would have been scorching to me. But I have... I just became used to it, so um, we don't have a heated pool or any action like that. So I think the pool water is at like uh, 72 degrees, which now that I've been spoiled by those really few hot days we had, now that seems freezing cold. I, I don't know what the ideal pool temp is for most people. Okay, I'm not. Uh, we're not big on the pool maintenance, even though we got a pool set up. We, we're not huge on it. Our main concern is that our pool is not green, okay, and uh, doesn't have wildlife living in it, and, and that's about it. I mean, we're not, uh, you know, we're not worried about our pool being crystal clear or anything like that. Just worried about it not being green, not having creatures in it besides us and our kids. You know, and that's the only creatures we want in our pool. So, uh, don't devote a lot of time to chemicals and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, don't have a crystal clear pool. But it's wet. It's wet and it's not green. So, that's got to be worth something. Don't do the pH tests or whatever the hell that's called with the little strips or vials or don't do that. Uh, I'm sure there'd be a, there's a lot of people who are very, very particular about their pool and pool maintenance. I'm not one of them. Just, we aren't. You know, we filled, well, my wife filled it up with, uh, with our water, which is well water, so our well water is not the cleanest water, it's got a lot of iron in it, so uh, filled that up with well water, and then uh, the battle with the water has mainly been making sure that the rust does not come out. You know, this, this was unfiltered well water, so that's what we filled our pool with. I had the 
dough and stuff, we'd have gotten it filled with the, um, one of those trucks with the big tank or whatever, but we didn't do that. We did that before one time, but uh, made made life quite a bit easier. But my wife did most of the fighting of the iron and the pool and managed to keep that down. So, um, but yeah, I'm I'm determined to wring all the sun I can out of these last days of summer or early fall or whatever the heck you want to call it. I can't remember when technically fall starts, but <clears throat> um, you know, I know just how long winter is. So it's like any day I can be outside getting that sun on me, man, I, I'm, I'm going for it. I'm going to soak up all the sun I can. It's just all there is to it. I'm taking advantage of it, and I hope you guys are too, because uh, it's good for you. It's good to get the hell outside, you know? And so, what's going on with you guys? Hopefully somebody will pop on here. Nobody's on here yet. Hang out here for a little bit, see if anybody pops on. Um, let's see my boy Vinny's coming in here. He's, he uh, got a false start to school today. And all the other kids started school today. Well, my son is a senior. Uh, went to go to school. He's got to ride two different buses. So he goes to a, I guess you call it a trade school. And we got to the first school on a bus, and then he's got to use a second bus to get to the other school, and finds out, since he's a senior, he's not starting today. So he went to school, not, the prop, not his main school, for nothing. So my wife had to pick him up. Poor wife said, next to no sleep, because she stayed up late like I did, but only she stayed up later, because she had to get up to get my oldest son up at a very early time and turns out she didn't have to so the poor lady stayed up pretty much all night to see my son off to school even though turns out he wasn't even starting school and she has to turn around and go and pick him up from school this was after getting getting two of my daughters off to school too so my wife's pretty incredible. Uh, meanwhile, I was sleeping oblivious and unaware of any of these things. Oh, my gosh. But, uh, anyways, uh, hope everybody out there is doing great. Hope, hope today treats you well. Not going to be on here much longer unless somebody hops on here. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing my son today, which, uh, that's what's going to be going on during the noon time. Going to be hanging out with him. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know if we're going to play a board game, watch a movie, or what. Maybe I'll leave, maybe I'll let him choose what we're going to do, but, uh, you know, uh, that's going to be doing that today, and uh, hopefully I'll be taking care of other things that I need to get off my rump to take care of. You know, this home, having a home uh, that I'm not renting is, is a lot different than, it's a lot different than renting, you know, <clears throat> renting my whole life. So, I was used to when stuff went wrong or whatever, call my, uh, landlord and it was time for him to fix stuff but uh it's not how it works when it's your own house you gotta get up and do it yourself so it seems like uh, it also seems like uh when one thing goes wrong in the house a couple more things go wrong right around the same time i'm finding out it, it, seems to be a little pattern going on here and uh, so 
that have one project to take care of. There, there's a few of them. And it's like, you got to get up and you got to try and take care of them because you know eventually something else is going to rear its ugly head that you're going to have to take care of. And then your list is going to get even longer. So, um, yeah, we still, we've got a washer, clothes washer, and it, uh, it's leaking out the bottom of it. I don't know exactly where either, and I am not a, I'm not an appliance specialist, you know, I'm not a technician, I'm not that Mayfair guy or whatever from the old commercials, and I can't tell where the heck it is leaking out of, so I, I'm not sure exactly how to fix it, um, I guess he's, you know, looked up a little bit about it online, and there are different, I don't know, called gaskets, washers, uh, things in there that could be leaking out of, but it, I can't tell where in the heck it's leaking out of. Water's running all over our floor. It's actually running into my bedroom. Um, we first thought, when we figured this, before we figured this out, First thought, one of our animals peed on our carpet in our bedroom. Turns out, it's the next room over, the clothes washer is leaking. It's somehow running under the wall and into our bedroom. So, got to try and figure out how to fix that thing. The problem is, I don't know even where it's leaking. I watched it when it was running. Um, I could see water dripping off somewhere, but I could, I'm not sure where the leak starts, if, it, if it's leaking somewhere else and, and just dropping off where I can see it and it's actually leaking out of somewhere I can't, I don't know, like I said, I, I'm not a specialist in this area, although one time I had to replace the, I think the water pump on it, is what it's called, a little uh, a plastic part on it, it's not that little of a part actually. Looks kind of like the uh, Starship Enterprise. We had to replace that baby on there and a belt one time. That was uh, that was pretty involved fix there. I mean, it wasn't the littlest fix. It wasn't the biggest fix. I think this leak thing is going to be tougher though, because I, I can't I can't tell where in the heck it's leaking from. So. <clears throat> But yeah, I had that, and then what else happened? Well, what happened before that was the dishwasher busted. It, it went kaput. So, um, but it seems like it's it's dead. So, um, we've been doing dishes the old-fashioned way by hand. Um, I don't think there's any fix in the dishwasher in there. You know, we can't replace it right now, so... But it's a lot more practical to wash dishes by hand than clothes by hand. Um, and even though we ended up in that spot one time before where we were washing clothes by hand, the old fashioned way with big tubs, soapy water and clean water to rinse them. And oh, yeah, did that, did that before. But don't want to have to do that again, so I'm trying to figure out how to fix this. I'm trying to think, what else? What else? Uh, something else I got to fix too, guys. It's um, all kinds of fun. But uh, now, like I said, the dishwasher, um, you just wash them by hand. But clothes are a heck of a lot harder to wash. I don't know. And any of you guys ever have to wash your clothes by hand, um, let alone a household of people? Uh, this, we got a lot of clothes. We got a lot of laundry. Um, so, a lot of clothes to wash by hand. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, it's fun. But 
uh, here's stuff I got to fix on the house. Woodpeckers, woodpeckers wreaking havoc. They were wreaking havoc a long time ago on the uh, front porch, well, which is really more of a stoop. Uh, has some uh, wooden pillars, I guess you'd say, holding up a small roof. Woodpecker holes all over there. Um, and the woodpecker holes turned into uh, also entrances for squirrels to live in there, too. Uh, one time my wife was, we heard movement in one of them. My wife thought there were poor little birds trapped in there, so she tore off a board on the bottom of it. And turns out it was some squirrel's cache of nuts at one time. Yeah, at one time. And I'm telling you, hundreds of nuts poured out of this pole. You know, it's hollow. Hundreds of them dumped out of this thing onto the ground. <clears throat> uh, walnuts and uh, hickory nuts, just hundreds of them dumped out. And I'm sure there was a, some squirrel out there very upset, probably watching from afar from a tree and not happy about that. But it turned out there weren't birds trapped in there. The birds that were in there were in very good shape. Um, it just turned out that you know there, there was a nest in there and mama bird was taking care of her baby birds just fine, but my wife and I, my wife especially, was worried that, you know, these poor little birds or whatever critters trapped in there. She kept hearing scratching but never saw anything. And so she tore a board off the bottom in there. Hundreds of nuts poured out of there. So, uh, I mean, this must have been like the mother load of uh, hoard uh, nuts. You know, it was it was quite impressive. I mean, somebody had really stocked up in there. So, um, but then again, these birds had taken over. So I don't know how the squirrel was going to come back and get any of those. I don't know. Maybe maybe there was a squirrel living there for a while. He gathered up all these nuts, and um, maybe he was getting older and, and decided he was going to retire and. Maybe he moved out and went down south or something, went to Florida or something, relocated and left his horde of nuts there. Because obviously you couldn't be living there while those birds lived there, but uh, maybe those birds drove him out and he, you know, was living a life in, the, in one of the trees nearby, one of the big oak trees, and staring at what was once his home you know, angry at these birds because they were living, you know, essentially on top of what would have been his horde of nuts. And he, he just sat in the trees and, you know, was maybe plotting on how to evict these birds from his former home. I don't know. But uh, this, it was, it was, uh, you know, who knows what the hell happened, but anyways, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem too many people are on right now, probably everybody else is doing something productive, so I'm going to hop off here, I'm going to have to be leaving here in a little bit, but I figured I'd hop on and do something, and I don't know, I might even get back on this evening, but if you're watching, thanks for watching, and, uh, you know, I try to be on here at noon, it's just, uh, I have things I have to do, too, and sometimes they require me to do them around noon, even though I'm trying to do a noontime show, so, uh, but, then again, uh, kids are a top priority, that's, that's how it works, so. Um, <clears throat> but I might hop back on here today. I'll be back on tomorrow, and hopefully 
there will be some people, and hopefully some of you guys will be on here and want to actually chit-chat and and we'll talk. But uh, till, if you're watching, have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Uh, stay out of trouble. Make the most of life. Enjoy it while you got it. And uh, love your brothers and sisters out there. And I'll holler at you guys later. See you later. Bye.